social media coordinator, and I'm here with Erin Gann and Allison Mack. Uh, they're the uh, <laughs> stars of our new uh, production, Apple Cove. What's up, guys? So, we just finished rehearsal. Yeah. yeah. Getting ready for we're moving into the theater on Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes. Excited. Very exciting. Very exciting. Very exciting. Lots of craziness happening. It's yeah. actually been really funny. Yeah. It's been very, <laughs> you know, no, I'll joke. very funny. It's hilarious. It is. No, it actually, is. It no, it is, actually. Um, it's a great cast. So Aaron, you've been with the production for a couple of uh, a couple of like incarnations of it, right? Like yeah. some readings and stuff. Yeah, workshop of it at the Lark. Yeah, would you mind telling us about that? <laughs> <laughs> um, that was a great that was a great cast too, and it was really uh, a lot of fun. It was just uh, very stripped down, very bare bones. We did a lot of stuff with uh, rehearsal props and um, sound effects. Yeah, sound effects. <laughs> Our own made up sound effects, um, and that was like two weeks worth of rehearsal and then a performance. Allison, what attracted you to the Apple Cove script, like specifically to your your character? Uh, I think that the arc that my character goes through in this script is is such a relatable arc, and actually has a lot to do with what I'm going through personally in my life. And there's a monologue specifically at the end um, where she's really taking charge of something, and it it when I read the monologue, which was what I auditioned with, I thought, oh my god, I was looking at my friend and I was like, this is what I'm going, like this is what I'm going through in my life right now. So it was a very timely, very relatable, very personal story that I connected with right away. Um, and I felt so proud and scared and excited to have the opportunity and the privilege to, to deliver the words on stage. Allison, people know you best as playing Chloe on Smallville, and I think you were in Love, Loss, and What I Wore, yes, right? Yes. That was your debut in New York? That was <laughs> in New York. New York City. Yes. So, <laughs> so now that this is your your second production in New York, um, how's the transition been like from TV to stage? Amazing. It's been amazing. So humbling, um, and and so exciting. And I was saying to a friend of mine the other day that I feel like I'm starting over again. Like I feel like I'm new in the business, and I come to rehearsal and every day. I'm like, oh, it feels like a master class because I'm working with just incredible actors that really know what they're doing, and I am sort of just keeping up. And that feels really good after having been doing the same thing for a long time. Do you guys have any experiences with like gated communities, like really strange stories? Strange stories about gated communities? Well, my family lived in a gated community. For real? What was that? Oh, uh, like? it was it was great. It was awesome. No, it was it was a, it was you know people had to uh, be announced, you know. And it was basically a golf course, though. It was like protected out in the middle of nowhere, so it was kind of, you know, redundant to have yeah. a gated community out in the middle of nowhere. One last question, um, and it's kind of a weird one, mm -hmm. but if you, awesome. if your character could be any sort of textile material, like cotton, steel, something like that, what would your character be? Like, what, what would your character embody? This is like James Lipton kind of question. <laughs> this is like... I'm trying to up the this ante. This is like, yeah, it's inside the actor's studio. Platinum. Platinum. Mm, that's nice. Yeah. Platinum? Why platinum? Because it's it's shiny and delicate and elegant, but so strong. Thank you so much for uh, staying after rehearsal and talking to me. Yeah, I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you for All right, bye guys! Ciao! Ciao!